Well, students, I thought it'd be fun to do um, some snowflake drawings today. And the thing about them is that they really can be um, however you want them to be. I'll show you a few ideas of repeating some lines and shapes, um, but every single time that I draw these, they're different. So that's why I think that they're so fun. Um, I think typically a snowflake has six sides, but you can um, make it uh, eight-sided or add extra line to it, whatever you think that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be realistic. So um, the first thing I would probably do is kind of map out your paper with a pencil. Um, I don't know, about six snowflakes works well. If you do like a T-shape, and I know it's gonna be a little bit hard to see um, with this pencil. I'll draw a lot of it with marker so you can see better. But um, And then if I make a T and then I make kind of an X, if I put one on the left, maybe I'm gonna put one on the right. This one's gonna be just six-sided, so I'm gonna do just an X with a line down the middle. Um, I'll put one in the middle maybe, and I'm gonna do this one as another T, and then put an X on it. And then I'm gonna do another one down here. Let's do this one six-sided. So we'll do um, an X for this one with a line down the middle. And then we'll do one more over here. And when I'm done, if I have extra space, I can end up um, filling in the extra area. So on this one, I just have five, but if you have space and you think, well, I need to put a small one in here and here, that would be fine too. Um, I'm gonna draw a bunch of mine with um, marker so that you can see it well on the video. So I just kind of mapped it out. If you wanna draw some of it with pencil first, um, that could probably be a good idea um, to make sure that you're happy with your design and if you need to change it, that you can change it um, with erasing it. I'm gonna start drawing mine with marker just so that you can see it well. And I already did a few of them ahead of time so that um, it's easy for, for you to see. Um, but you can see each of these are different. I'll, I'll draw these two um, and I'll kind of show you how I drew these. Um, but you may use your pencil to draw some things out first. Um, just to get your ideas down, get kind of into a rhythm. But often I'll do like a shape in the middle. Maybe this is gonna be a square shape and then maybe around that shape, I might do a new shape like a circle, but I kind of start from the middle. And then I'll usually make um, the sides the same. So if I do a circle here on that one, I'm gonna do a circle here and then I'll do a circle here and then I'll do a circle here. I could do that on those ones too. Sometimes making some of the lines thicker or filling them in is a nice um, way to contrast thick lines and thin lines, areas that you've filled in, others that you haven't. If on these X lines I wanna do something like a diamond shape, I could do a diamond on all of them. So often these snowflakes are just um, a pattern of repeating line, repeating shape, repeating color. Often um, snowflakes kind of have these frosty lines, these lines that kind of come off of that. So if I do two of those there, I'm gonna do two of those here, and then I would do two of those here, and two of these here. And then if I want to, um, maybe I'm gonna put a, um, a square shape on these and then I'll do a square here, and then a square here, and then a square here. Sometimes off of these lines, I'll put lines. I think this could be fun to do like a line off of this, and then on the ends of these lines, maybe I do a, a dot or something. And then, on the ends of these snowflakes, I think I do wanna do some more of these on these ones to repeat them. And if you need to extend the line a little bit to make space. And then on some of those, I will make some of the lines thicker sometimes, make a, a little bit of a wider line. So some are skinny. 
some are wide. And then I could leave it like that. I think on the ends, I want to put a diamond shape and then I'll fill that in. If you're feeling confident and feeling like things are going well, then I would just draw it right with a marker um, after you do a little bit of practice with pencil because you can see that it does have a lot of detail. I just continue building and building and building. Um, then I would move down to this one. Sometimes you can keep them a little bit more simple, like maybe on this one, I'm just gonna do kind of a diamond shape. So it really depends on how much detail you wanna put into them. Like maybe this one's just gonna be just a frosty snowflake. off of this I could do a couple and I'll just end this one with a couple of dots so you can see the first one I did had a lot of stuff where this one is gonna have less So it's really up to you on how detailed you want to make it. And I can always go back and add things or change things. And that's why I think this is so fun to do. So let's have fun filling our paper up with different cool snowflake designs.